Right, here we are at the Belgravia Art Gallery in London in Mayfair. This was a wonderful example of what typically an art gallery will find. Here we've got artwork that's stored and stacked one against the other against the wall. Quite typical. The danger and the challenge here is that if ever an art collection wants to be got at from here, you can see that it's quite a challenge to try and retrieve the artwork and the possibility of art being damaged as this is being pulled out is quite high. The owners here at the gallery felt this really wasn't the way to continue and the challenge was how can we store all of the artwork neatly and safely but still be able to get to the artwork to show potential clients what the collections are. Well, we came up with this high-density art racking solution. We call this Art Store. Here we have panels that go from the floor to the available ceiling. We manufacture these in any height. The panels are simply bolted together if the height is greater. Also, the panels come in sections, and these panels are bolted together to create whatever length run is required. So we provide a mesh face on which the pictures and art collections can be hung. And you'll see here a big variety of sizes from quite large to relatively small. They are placed onto the mesh racks using hooks, S-type hooks that hook onto the mesh racking and then the pictures are hung accordingly and you can create a montage of large, small, but every square meter of the mesh face is used. They run easily on smooth roller carriages that run on steel tracks set in the floor. The space in between the tracks is filled with a infill panel so that in between the tracks this non-slip element faced infill panel provides a flush and safe walkway for easy and safe operation. To get to any of the art collection, by identifying this is where you want to refer, a simple and easy pull of the handle at the front means that the art rack easily glides forward. You can see how silent it is, making hardly any noise, and the art selection is exposed. That means that it can be not only displayed, but if and when required, the art picture can be unhooked and retrieved as required. You can see here, in a relatively small store area, just how much artwork has been stored. Much of this artwork would have been stacked, as we saw earlier, against the available walls. And once that was done, really there was very little extra capacity that was available. And when a particular collection or a particular piece needs to be retrieved, that was a lot of hard work. Here, you can see just how quick and how simple it is. And the added bonus is, is that customers, when they are brought here downstairs to see the collection, they get quite excited and are uh, want to participate in actually getting involved in pulling out the artwork to see the pieces that they want to look at and to be able to push back uh, the system afterwards. And in fact, the gallery manager was saying just how excited she finds her customers who want to operate the system herself. Now, some of you uh, may well have very large pictures, and to accommodate that, let me show you what we do here in terms of the feature. Coming down here towards the uh, lower end of the system, I'd like to show you two examples. Here, we have actually put a ledge. This ledge is fitted slightly tilting back, so that heavier and bigger pictures can sit directly on this ledge. Those taller and longer pictures can then be supported at the bottom and they're just held back so that those pictures are not being totally supported by the hooks they're actually resting on the ledge. On other installations of the pull-out racks uh, it's not so important and therefore there isn't a ledge so we give an option here where where required you can have a bottom ledge to be able to store those pictures and in fact this ledge could be repeated at any level halfway or further up further up, wherever a ledge was required. So we've got that option uh, available. Overhead, you've got the guide rail, which is fixed directly to the ceiling, and 
where the ceiling is much further higher away, we would put in steel work that would run all the way across and then these guide rails would be fixed to that steel work. So we've got the option of doing both. All of the components arrived in KD form so that often the storage area is down many flights of stairs or in the basement. Because the components arrive in KD form, it's not a challenge for us to bring all the components down into the area and once we're here, we're fully contained. We assemble the components together to create the finished installation as you see here. A complete pull-out art store system.